Hi, I'm Matt McChesney, and this is the top six on thednvr.com. Go and check it out, all right? It's the best coverage, hands down, in the Mile High City, Midwest. You will put the Pepsi Challenge against anybody's ass out there, all right? Thednvr.com. This is point number one on the top six. You're at the lab here, 6 0 Strength and Fitness. Check it out, 6 0 Strength.com. Remember to go to Shop Honda. Dot com slash vote and vote for the Colorado High School Coach of the Year. Uh, the nomination part is done, so just go on there and vote, and we'll get that done. Now, uh, because of the weather and some other unforeseen circumstances, it's getting to you a little late this week, but still getting to you. Now, this was about as frustrating as you can be as a fan, in my opinion. The Broncos squandered a huge opportunity to be relevant. Uh, the season's essentially over, and I'm going to show you why, okay? Uh, the beginning of this is pretty productive, especially this play. Nice play action shot to Sutton. The end of this top six is a huge, huge shit show and just an absolute cluster. So, kind of similar to how the Broncos season has gone, honestly. So, we are on the lab here at 6 0 Strength and Fitness, and we are rolling play one. All right, so the Vikings come out, or excuse me, the Broncos come out here, all right, on the 20 yard line in 22 personnel. So, I formation 22 tight and heavy. So you can either get a scissor player here, or you'll see Janovich when he motions here, Jano motions, and when he motions right here, this is what we call 22 tight and heavy I4. So he's far away from the tight end strength. All right, that means you get a lot of wrap action here. You'll see the way that these two explode out of a run base fit, but it's, it's definitely something that you see when they uh, ex explode and attack the levels of the field. You'll see one of the tight ends go flat, one of the tight ends go stick, and then Sutton right here is your deep player. Now, this, this is a great play action shot. It's awesome, okay? And Sutton does a great job of high pointing the ball and winning. When you see here what Minnesota's doing, they're countering with base personnel. They have three linebackers at the second level. You have a corner force. That means that he's now a force contained player, meaning anything inside here, especially with these guys all even footed, they can all take slant steps. So it's pirate. These guys would pirate inside. And then this guy would be a dropper. And when you see Harrison Smith rotating down here, and you'll see uh, the strong safety rotate back, it's what's called a robber. So one will robber to a mesh point here where Sutton would be, essentially, if you were to flat route this. So if, if Janovich takes the flat route and Sutton runs, a, runs like a, just a regular slant or a dig, that's why Harrison's sitting right there. Now, this ends up being a great play action shot down the field. Watch it on this angle, and then we'll talk about the protection from the back. See the scissors backside to protect. Ball's out. Bread basket right there. That's a hell of a catch by Sutton. Sutton's really impressing the hell out of me. Him and Allen definitely seem like they've got a little rapport. All right, so tight three technique here, okay? Definitely looking like he might pirate. Force player, so a pirate, bam, 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 and then he would essentially drop to the mesh point here after the linebacker moves back out when Janovich motions, okay? Now, looking at this, motion, So now, sprint and boot. Sprint out is when all the offensive linemen and the quarterback go together. Bootleg, this is what this is. Bootleg play action. They're going to the short side of the field, running behind Biggie, okay? Hard play action sell, all right? And everyone's going away from the quarterback, so he's going to boot and set up somewhere on this launch point right on the hash right here. And it's a really good play call. They were assaulting the line of scrimmage early in the game, and you'll see the way everybody in, in, in a Minnesota jersey takes one step forward. When they take that step forward... Homeboy right here and Harrison Smith should have been yelling at each other, GTFB, get the back. You put in the other word. Right on the inside of the seam. Look at that. That's beautiful. And we are in the bread basket. Now, it's all about relationships, and Allen and Sutton seem to have one. So, I'll take this if this is what we're going to get. That was play number one on the 6-0 top six here. Go to thednvr.com to check them out.